Hello or hola, my soccer universe. Yes, my wife got all my hair. She said I looked wild in the videos before. I agree, but that's how <laughs> it happened today. Now that we had, don't have any lockdowns uh, is, uh, since, since we have local lockdowns. And anyway, I always like to grow it out a little bit and then it goes wild. So she tried to fix it. I hope you like it. Um, last one for La Liga uh, jersey review again. The specialty jerseys, I always say I want to do it and I actually, I'm at the moment really thinking that maybe after all of that, maybe I should do a specialty jersey review for the last season. I know it's a little bit late, but uh, just for completeness sake. In this video we have Sevilla and I will tell you a story about my Sevilla jerseys once we get there. But this is the 1819 jersey, the proper one. The fake that I have is here, which looks very similar, but there are key differences and I've made a video about those just in case. Um, how do I choose the teams in this video? Well, I do it as I did for all my videos. Now this is already the 20th I'm doing for Jer Jersey Review. So if you've seen them all, you already know. But if, in case you don't, took last season standings, went like in the graphic, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, and so on and so on. Uh, and everyone with the number 4 is in this video. And then I sort it alphabetically, which this time should not cause too much confusion. And we will start with a promoted team from Elche, who are Hummel jerseys. And I always see that there's one team that Hummel needs to have, or Hummel, Hummel needs to have in Spain and it switches. I think the first time I did it was Valladolid, then it became Osasuna, now it is Elche. And it, I always have that feeling it's kind of a promoted team uh, that they take, take up and then they move on to Adidas. Yeah, both of them moved on to uh, 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 Adidas the season after. Um, I was surprised because I didn't know it uh, by heart. If I look at the Elche crest, I would not have expected Elche to be white with a green chest band. But I buy it that this is the traditional look, so I'm all fine for that. I'm great that they put out a traditional looking jersey, um, even with full color crest. Homo chevrons are always nice. I'm not so sold on the side uh, bands in green. I think this would have looked better in white. My biggest gripe on this one is not even the triangle inset on the collar. No, it's the sponsor that doesn't really fit on there. Um, that if that would have been just uh, white, I think should have done the trick. Um, the colors don't maybe fit a little bit with the grid, a little bit, but um, that's a little bit the sore spot on the whole thing. Other than that, I think for a classic looking jersey, yeah, it's it's all right. I have to say I'm a little bit between six and seven, and maybe I'll go with six because the size wrapping is not exactly to my liking. Uh, the away jersey takes a very similar look, but now in red and uh, blue, which is more like the Elche crest. I have to say, lo looks right. The sponsor looks even better here. I am not necessarily the triangular inset here. I don't like that much. Uh, but other than that, uh, there's really not much you can complain about this one either. Um, it does. Maybe it has to. Say, I, I I don't know. I mean, there's a slight gradient in the, in the middle. I also will give this six stars. I think it is maybe trying a little bit more than it should, but it's not a bad looking jersey. Speaking of blue and red, Levante, uh, again, having a Macron kit. And I have, I have to say, every, every the, the Levante jerseys get a little bit uh, worse. I don't uh, understand this La Resistencia on the ad here, but okay, let's take it. I have to say, um, this one I don't like because the red stripe in the middle is too wide and then the sides are blue. It basically looks like a big red center stripe on a blue jer jersey then with the red uh, sleeve cuffs. Uh, it's a little bit something missing. I'm not a big fan of this one. Is it a bad jersey? No, but it's not what I would, would expect. And for that reason, a uh, five star. Um, the uh, away jersey is a little bit more. You know, if they would have done that in blue and red, it's very much like a power jersey, jersey that uh, Macron really recently put out. I really like the grand that color. color the three big red stripes, the sponsor piece uh, fits fit, fit perfectly. I think he could have gone for full color crest, but this one, and I know black and white is becoming now, uh, it probably is already, but um, I really like those black and white kits. Yes, Vasquez, 
has to be black, black, like a I really like this this kit a lot. This is a nine star. Looks really, really strong in my opinion. Uh, and then the third kit goes a little bit Barcelona. Uh, this type turquoise. You have the red, the blue, but I have to say this is again very, very often, very, very, very often. I can say if uh, Levante kits would have a Barcelona crest on, they would look better than most of the kits that Nike have been putting out as of late. Um, and I can say the same thing here. Um, where shall we go with this one? Is it, I think, uh, as a third jersey, you know, it provides enough color content. I think we can go a full seven stars here, even with the full color crest. We like that one. I like that one. I have to say, it's all about me. Yeah, it's my soccer universe. <laughs> Okay, then we had the big team Sevilla and you know, after the, they won the Europa League final, I saw that you could buy a Sevilla jersey the, with the, the one that they won the Europa League with on the official store. However, they were selling it even in the league ver version, not the Europa League version, but you know, league version is fine by me. Um, they were selling it for, uh, I think, only 30 euros or whatever. The problem is they slept on as much uh, shipping on top of that and that I just couldn't do and um, I had this fake because I saw this I think for 20 and I did not it looked all right but then as soon as I opened it I, it was fake although I probably with this one I would have at first thought too if I wouldn't have known that this is a proper one so yeah, um, yeah I said okay Maybe we wait for the new Sevilla jersey to come, 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 come out. Maybe it will look better because I know the old one. I didn't like they said the black collar, but you know, it looked all right enough, uh, especially with lifting a trophy with it. And then this one comes out. Template, boring. Color, very colorful sleeve sponsor. And then when I saw this here, the 89, 19, I thought I was never uh, happy with that. Uh, to begin with, uh, it looks all right enough more severe than this one does. I don't like necessarily this Nike color. I don't am so sold on the diagonal stripes. And I think my biggest gripe with it is this is friggin' severe. Yes, it's not the biggest team in Spain, but it's a team that won the Europa League. And you give them a team wear jer jersey with nothing, absolutely nothing special. On there and they've been doing this now for uh, I think a third se season season in a row uh, yes overall I could get along with it somehow but I have to say I like this one although it's the same bar it's a similar bar 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 game I like this one as a severe jersey honestly a whole lot lot better at least we have the three the red side stripes here I, I, I don't know the color. I never liked this type of Nike car color and there's just something not quite right with this one I have, I have to say. What's right is that the sponsor fits very nicely, although I have, have to say I like this platic uh, uh, better. And then yeah, the sleeve sponsor is ugly. I have to say so it adds a little bit too, 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 too much color. Average, five stars. Honestly, and we can go this through them I in mean, uh, reversal of colors for the weight jersey. I have to say a red Sevilla jer jersey looks always uh, nice. Uh, also, the marathon bed is now in uh, white as is, is the sleeve sponsor. So this pushes it on the other side. It goes six stars because it looks a little bit more coherent than the home jersey. And then the third jer jersey, yes, uh, they had a blue one. Now we take a dark blue. I have to say this diagonal sh shadow survey can look good, but it doesn't look good on this one. I have, I honestly have to say, um, and then look at how the one sponsor is in red, the other one is in white. There is just something also not quite super fitting there. Uh, but I also think this is a little bit more on the better side. I think I like both the alternates better than the home jersey. So uh, six stars for that one as well, but very, very underwhelming in many ways. Anything but, and again, this is Adidas, and I, in many ways, I shouldn't like this, but I have been looking at buying this jersey from Valladolid. Uh, the problem is you have to pay full price, and then it becomes a little bit more of, um, yeah, financially too much, and then, you know, you have to pay ship shipping. I really, there's something about the purple and the white that Valladolid has. I, this is the template that we had um, before already, I think with Cadiz, uh, that I really liked. Um, not quite because the straps just fade, but I have to say, 
the purple and together with a little bit pink uh, adds a really nice twist to the whole thing. Uh, also the pink sleeve, sleeve cuffs and it's not, it even goes with, with the crest well. I like the way that the, the collar also fits nicely. This is a good jersey, uh, jersey. yes it is very much Adidas template uh, overkill in many ways but I have to say I really enjoy watching this jersey. Uh, to the point, as I said, I have been looking into that one a few times. Um, eight stars, really eight stars. I really like, like. I mean, and I have, I have to say, via the literature as of late, especially the two, the last one, Adidas was also not bad as well. So I really like via the lead. And same thing goes here for the away jersey that is very, very adventurous with a half, half look with pink. Should not work. Does work. Uh, you know, with this pattern, in the, I have to say, this, these are some of the best Adidas jerseys this season. Adidas, I, I think, is one of the bigger um, disappointments. But this one, the only thing that does not really fit well in there is the sponsor. But other than that, this is a great, great jersey. I think it's slightly even better than home home jersey, but monochromatic crest goes down. Sponsor, also no hard graffiti. But also, eight stars, really, really nice looking. And then we'll end it in Via Real home jersey, classic Via Real. I think you cannot fault them for anything. You want to have a yellow jersey, you get a yellow, yellow jersey. I like the sponsor, full color, color crest. Could be more exciting, maybe, but given the Villarreal jerseys as of late, I really like this one. Um, it's not spectacular, but I, it doesn't need, 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 need to be. It is what I want to see for Villarreal. Seven stars. Um, the away jersey, actually that one, I like even a little bit better despite the, um, slight asymmetry with the yellow going on on the collar and then only on one sleeve cuff but um i think it's a, a navy blue so yeah with full full color crest i really strong it's not a straight reversal for a reversal from the uh, home jersey but very close so and liking it too I'm gonna give, go one higher with eight stars uh, because even the asymmetry adds something a little bit special. But it all falls down with the third jersey. Okay. <laughs> uh, if there's any Villarreal fan or anybody know watching, please explain if there's anything related to that with those colors. I mean, this very bright red with turquoise is already a very jarring uh, color combination. I'm all right with the white low logos although because I think if you put full color crescent cres it, it even makes it worse. So yeah. But then the pattern in the lower right, proper lower right, uh, with this, I guess this are supposed to be houses or whatever. Double UT, you know what. Uh, this is among the worst jerseys out there. And Villarreal always has one of the worst jerseys in their collection. I... No. Has everything wrong. Colors, pattern, execution. I'm gonna give this one star. And this is where we end the whole La Liga jersey review for this season. Let me know what you think about all these jerseys that we've been talk, talk, talking about here. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. Tell me I'm completely nuts of giving these grades. Uh, otherwise, uh, you can also inform me whether you agree with me. And yeah, I will talk to you soon and we'll probably do a Champions League jersey review next. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.